multiple comparison procedure for use with treatment tests comparing or treatments with a control. For learning outcome, at the end of this lesson, students should be able to compute or treatments with a control and compare of two or more treatments of which one is control condition by using treatment test. Assumption for this topic are the data consists of blocks mutually independent samples of size k that is the number of treatments excluding the control condition represent s i not and x i j that responses to the control and the j treatment in the i block of a randomized complete block design pair is treatment with the control condition now continue for hypothesis which have three cases for testing case A, have H0 is Mj greater and equal to M0. For H1, is Mj less than to M0. For testing case B, H0 is Mj less and equal to M0. And H1 is Mj greater than M0. Last, for testing case C, H0 is Mj equal to M0. And H1 is MJ not equal to M0. For test statistic, we have to compute the sign differences which Dij is equal to Xij minus Xi0 that is each data in each treatment minus to the each data in control condition. After that, we have to find the number of Rj which the number of minuses sign. To find the number of pluses sign, the number of block B minus the number of minuses sign. Let's continue for decision rule. For case A, if the number of plus sign is less and equal to critical value, we reject Heshna. For case B, if the number of minus sign is less and equal to critical value, we reject Heshna. And for case C, if the number of minus sign or number of plus sign which is smaller is less and equal to critical value we reject Heshna. Notice that for case A and case B we refer to table A.15 for one tail case. For case C refer to table A.16 for two tail case. This is summary for hypothesis, test statistic and decision rule. To be more understand, we go through the example. A pen manufacturer wish to compare three newly proposed with the standard formula currently in use for manufacturing a particular type of house paint. The response variable was a composite score that incorporated several properties that measure pain quality. Since the effective quality of pain is affected by the surface to which it's applied, the company researchers applied pain manufacture by the standard and the three new formula to five different surfaces, which serve as the blocks for the experiment. The resulting quality scores are shown in table 7.13. A high score indicates a higher quality. For each treatment, the differences Dij are parentheses. This is table 7.13. For solution, first state the hypothesis. Based on this statement, we know this example is for case B, which have three hypotheses that claim at H1. Hypothesis for formula 1 is H0 M1 less and equal to M0. H1, M1 is greater than M0. Formula 2, H0, M2 is less and equal to M0. H1, M2 is greater than M0. Formula 3, H0, M3 is less and equal to M0. H1, M3 is greater than M0. Here, we compare and find the difference of formula 1 2 and 3 with the control condition. For example, data in Formula 1 for surface A, the difference between 25 and 13 
is plus 12. Next, formula 3 for surface D, the difference between 13 and 14 is minus 1. Remember to put a sign of each difference. After that, find the number of minus a sign to each treatment that is RJ. For example, the number of minus a sign for formula 2 is 1. Next, we find the number of pluses assigned to each treatment. We can see there is 5 blocks. So, for the formula 2, the number of minus assigned is 1. Hence, the number of plus assigned is 4. From the example, it is given that an experiment was error rate alpha is 0 0.10. Refer to table A.15. We know that K is 3, B is 5 and we get the critical value is 0 from this table. For decision, Formula 1, since the number of sign is 0, less and equal to critical value is 0, so reject Heshna. Formula 2, the number of Minus a sign is 1 is greater than critical value, so do not reject Heshna. Formula 3, the number of minus a sign is 1 is greater than critical value, so do not reject Heshna. For conclusion, Formula 1, there is enough evidence to support the claim that a high score indicates higher quality. Formula 2, there is not enough evidence to support the claim that a high score indicates higher quality. Formula 3, there is not enough evidence to support the claim that a high score indicates higher quality. Here have some exercises that can you try it by yourself. Exercise 1. Exercise 2 Exercise 3 Thank you for the listening. Good luck.